You've clicked on this video, you know what it means. It means it is episode 24 of Underrated Cars. Most of you aren't actually subscribed, so, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll not always leave a like and a comment if the comments aren't turned off. But, yep, yeah, today I'll be taking a closer look at Scott Tiller. Now, people might be wondering, Scott Tiller isn't, like, underrated. Well, actually, he is, because people always talk about Frank, him being the only combine harvester. But... People always forgot, forget about Scott Tiller being the other Combine Harvester. Albeit a little bit different because his Combine is at the back and Frank's is at the front. But it's just a pretty cool release and people forget about him like all the time. Because probably he was in like the movie Cars 3 for like what? I don't know, 2 seconds, 3 seconds during the song. But yeah, so today I'll be taking a closer look at Scott Tiller of course. So... Let's start off with his package. This is his only release, so we don't need to go over his releases, which is actually pretty cool. You can see. So there's Radiator Springs right here. Radiator Springs. Scott Tiller, we can see him in this deluxe packaging, which is actually pretty cool. We can also see the, of course, Radiator Springs background here. Of course, Cars 3 logo, because he was in Cars 3. On the back, you can just see how to connect Scott Tiller's combine to him because it does come in two pieces, as you can see. So yeah, that's his only release. Now, of course, onto his movie scene, as you can see on the other side of your screen today, because Fang is here, which is, of course, pretty cool. But yeah, so going on to the review, or one fact about Scott Tiller, before we actually get onto this review, is that... He is named after Scott Tilly, so which is pretty ironic how he's called Scott Tiller and then Scott Tilly literally are the same. Now getting on to this review. So episode 24, let's start the review. So of course he's got these massive like double wheels on the front, so he's got like literally four wheels at the front, one, two, three, four, and then four on the back. He's got this smiling expression here, which you could just about see. We can see some dirt bus decals on the front because he's a compine. And he does, like, go over dirt and gravel quite often, so that's why. He's got this massive grill here for his nose, which is pretty cool. We've got these line, these his eyes right here. Pretty cool, his expression. Pretty cool. We've got massive mirrors. We can go onto the side. It does look pretty cool, you can see. Orange, or dark orange, brown rims, however you like to see it. All this nice decaling here, as you can see. Pretty cool. Mirrors, more dirt on the side. You can see more dirt on the top of him. Pretty cool. Got lights at the top. Pretty cool. There's the back. You can see here is the blade, or you call it a blade, you can. I don't know what other people call it. But the combine here, you can see some more stuff. And you can see the actual blades on the inside. And here is the base, made in China. So that does end the review of today on Scott Tiller. He deserves more attention, and I mean quite a lot more attention, to be honest with you. You're probably wondering what was up with my thumb in this video. Yeah, I kind of like cut it and it started bleeding, so yeah. Anyways, that's for that. If you are new, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, most of you aren't. Hit that bonus notification down below. Of course, to the next one, peace guys.